Scotland's fabled Loch Ness Monster could possibly be a giant eel, scientists said on Thursday after an intensive analysis of traces of DNA in the loch's icy waters. They said that the results ruled out the presence of large animals such as dinosaurs. However, Professor Neil Gemmell, a geneticist from New Zealand's University of Otago, told reporters that there was a lot of eel DNA in the loch. So eels are four to six foot in length. It's plausible that there one, might be one that, that or two that, that, that grow to extreme size. Gemmell noted, however, that despite the idea of a giant eel having been around for decades, nobody had ever caught a giant one in the loch. The international team of scientists took their examples of so-called environmental DNA or eDNA in June last year. Whenever a creature moves through its environment, it leaves behind tiny fragments of DNA from its skin, scales, feathers, fur, feces, and urine. The first written record of a monster relates to the Irish monk St. Columba, who is said to have banished a quote, water beast to the depths of the river Ness in the 6th century. Countless unsuccessful attempts to track down the monster have been made in the years since. Notably in 2003, when the BBC funded an extensive research that used 600 sonar beams and satellite tracking to sweep the full length of the lock.